A fantastic season a year ago for the ladies swimming and diving team has them thinking uh, high hopes again for this coming season. And joining us to talk about the upcoming year is senior Jenner McLeod. She's from Madison, Wisconsin. And Jenner, we were just talking off camera. Last year, I thought the ladies had the best season of all the teams around here yeah. with the freshmen just contributing, some senior firepower. And now here we are getting ready for the uh, Kenyon College Relays yeah. that start this week. And how exciting is it uh, getting back into the pool? I know you've been out a little bit lately with yeah. a little head injury, but uh, obviously an exciting time of the yeah. year to get back into the pool. Yeah, I think um, everyone's really looking forward to this weekend. I think there's been a lot of anticipation. Everyone just wants to start racing again. I mm -hmm. think long course training, getting back into two-day workouts, nine practices a week, it's a lot. Um, so I think people are just really excited to see what we can do as a team and just get up and race. Now, last year, I mean, from Mary Saul to Hannah Lobb, mm -hmm. I mean, that was a lot of fun. And, you know, being in North Carolina with you guys back in March, I mean, I know we came in second, but we yeah. pushed Emory to the wire for, pretty much into that last day. Uh, what did you take from last year? And, you know, this being your final year in Gambier, what, what are you hoping to bring? And, uh, yeah. you know, can, can we get an encore of sorts, maybe uh, kind of similar to last year? Yeah, I mean, last uh, Nationals was incredible. There were just, like you said, swims that still to this day give me goosebumps thinking about um, one in particular, I mean, Hannah Lobb's 100 free. Just to yeah. swim with her was an honor. Um, I think this year... I mean, every year we say, like, we're, we're a new team and we're going to see what we can do, but I think we really want it. Um, you know, I don't want to go in saying, like, you know, we're going to get that title, but that's what we're pushing for. Mm -hmm. And I think we have the freshman class and the sophomores who were freshmen last year. I mean, they're amazing. Yeah. I think everyone's stepping up year after year, and so it'll just be amazing to see what we can do this season. Now, you mentioned uh, the relays coming up mm -hmm. on Saturday. I know you're not going to take part of them in them, but um, – what do you make of the roster, uh, this roster? I, I know you, you're not looking at the uh, the depth chart, but yeah. you're out there practicing. Right. What do you think of this team that, that that's here now in Gambier for this season? Um, I think it's... Uh I think we have a lot of depth. What's really great is we have a huge freshman class. We don't know yet where they're all going to fit in in the roster, what mm -hmm. events they're going to swim. But I think what's something so cool about this relay meet is even if you're a distance swimmer, you step up and swim a 50 free just to get up and race. And so I think this weekend will really show... Um, it's not going to be the end all be all, right. obviously, because we're tired right now. We've, we've done a lot of practicing, but I think just seeing where we are as a team, and um, I have high hopes for what I'm going to see on Saturday. Fortunately, not in the pool, but on the sidelines cheering my team on. And that's as big a part. I mean, I know it boils down to times in the pool, yeah. but I mentioned this, mentioned this to Oscar Anderson because we interviewed him earlier. Mm -hmm. The camaraderie with both teams might be as good as any, if not better, than the, all the rosters here. You've been here three years now, mm -hmm. going in on year four. Describe that because that, that companionship goes a long way. And that is something that's definitely every year we strengthen and we've made that a point as yeah. a team. Um, because there's nothing better than when you're about to race to see all 70 teammates on the sideline cheering you on. And, um, you know, so means as much a team sport as an individual. And I think that's right. something we forget. And I think, you know, people think, oh, realize is the only team aspect. It's, you know, it's all 80 of us getting up every weekend to support each other. And I think come February and March at conference and nationals, that's where you'll see the distinction uh, between Kenny and Slimane and other teams is we get up and support each other. And that's something I'm so fortunate to be a part of. Did you focus on anything over the off season? I know it seems, a, a, it's kind of like the yeah. football off season. It's, uh, it's, it's a little bit too long for my liking, especially with the success that we had. Yeah, it's, it's crazy because you have, you know, your uh, nationals in March and you come down from this high mm -hmm. of just mm -hmm. an incredible, incredible week. And um, I focused on just resting up and I did a lot of lifting over the summer just to stay in shape. I take a break from the pool yeah, um, just so that I'm <laughs> rejuvenated coming in. So I feel like I'm going to be ready this year and I think the team's going to be great. So. All right. My final thought for you. Uh, we're going to be back in Texas uh, mm -hmm. in, in March. I don't. I asked Oscar this. I don't want you to give a prediction, but where where do you think this team could be? Uh, national runner up again? Uh, where, where do you think we could be at the end of the year? Um, I think we're definitely in contention for a title, yeah. and um, you know, and it's one of those things where if you're in contention, you're one of those top four teams. You want it. I think you're going to see some pretty amazing swims from people that you didn't think possible. I think sure. that's what's so great is, you know, you never know what's going to happen at this point in the season. It's a long few months, but yeah. I think come, you know, Nationals in Texas, it's going to be something special. So I don't know what it's going to be yet, but, I, you know, I think we'll leave that me feeling very proud of what we've accomplished this year. Okay. Jenner, thank you for your thank time. Thank you so much. Good luck this season, and thank we'll catch you. up with you later. Great. Thank you. That was senior Jenner McLeod. She's from Madison, Wisconsin, and she's going to be one of the key cogs for the ladies swimming and diving team 
over the course of uh, the next few months as they, uh, you know, aim for another title, uh, which will come down in Texas uh, in March uh, at the Division Three Championships. For Jenner, I'm Clayton Kaufman. We'll see you next time on the Kenyan Sports Connection.